Hello everyone, welcome back to Virtual Reality Game Dev Ed. I am extremely excited right now to get back into our design series. This is actually a brand new computer I just built yesterday and just, built, just picked up today. Um, I built this machine specifically for graphic design. Now it is actually for our friend Sky, but I get to play around with it um, until we send it to her. So. I'm really excited to do that. This is literally a graphics design supercomputer. If you were to do something like this, now I've got an Intel i7 processor in this and a Quadro 600 uh, um, graphics card. So that's pretty much uh, the kind of system you'd want to set up for graphic design. And it's really not all that expensive if you find the right place to build it. Um, however, this system is specifically built for graphic design. It's not even a gaming system. It wouldn't run large games like Diablo 2 or uh, World of Warcraft or something, something large like that very well. So if you are a gamer, um, the Quadro 600 isn't the graphics card you want. However, <clears throat> for designers, this is an amazing system. So, we are going to get into Make Human first. Um, I'm going to make first here a couple quick tutorial videos on Make Human. Um, so, let's get started with our first one here with that. Now, to download Make Human, first of all, if you want a quick link to their website, <clears throat> to their downloads page, just uh, open up your browser and type in vrealitygames.com and uh, like us on Facebook if you haven't already. Um, jump to our v reality, virtual reality uh, game dev ed page and right down here you see the icon of Make Human here. If you just click on that icon it opens up the Make Human downloads page. Now we see two different things here, and I'm making two different tutorial videos, one on the full stable release and one on the nightly builds. <coughs> uh, I have to introduce a little bit of Make Human real quick. Make Human is a brand new technology. It is a brand new software. Um, this is actually only an alpha version program. so. Please, everyone, expect some bugs and expect a lot of features not to be complete. Um, it is definitely not done yet. However, it is still absolutely incredible. I have never found anything for making human characters more advanced and more specific and more realistic um, than this program. So this video is all about the main stable version right now. So click that and download that and we can get started there okay once it's downloaded go ahead and open it up you will see a couple things first thing I need to note is do not try to minimize it oh, it works well in Windows 7 here um, on XP on my other machine you didn't want to try to minimize it um, let me go ahead and just uh, quickly change the gender over um, <clears throat> you don't want to minimize it uh, depending on what uh, system you're running it on because this is a fairly unstable program and it uh, will crash until it's fully loaded once it's loaded then you can minimize it just fine so once we get into the program the first thing we will see is this screen here we're in the mic the macro screen. These are the general settings of how you want your basic character to be. Now to move around you use left click to rotate him. Okay. You use right click to move him around like this and the wheel will actually scroll him in and out. I'm pressing in the wheel to scroll him down. Move it down and scroll him in move it up to scroll in closer to the body then if you actually just scroll the wheel up and down it will also move it 
up and down, but it's kind of inverted. You pull the wheel down to move him in. So, the, di the controls are a little bit different, fairly hard to get used to um, for me because I was used to Blender at first, but uh, they're pretty easy. You'll get used to them. Okay. Another thing you might notice right off, say for like the top of the head, you might notice um, the texture isn't quite complete at a distance. Again, this is an example of how this is an alpha stage program. Some of the things, some of the features and whatnot are not exactly complete. Okay. So we're going to go over everything you can do to customize this character. Now, the very first thing I want to actually glance at um, is skin. Okay, we see if you look closely, come down here and click on the face cam, it'll jump right up to the face. He's blue eyed, um, white. You know, say you uh, are not Caucasian and you would rather um, an African character. This um, man ha was actually requested, the guy who designed this was uh, got a lot of complaints about how his basic character was only Caucasian, white, blonde hair, blue eyed, well, <clears throat> doesn't have hair, but blue eyed Caucasian specifically. So if you come under files and click this ethnics tab, he actually went ahead and integrated um, a very, very nice um, African uh, ethnic depiction for everyone. Okay. Now, this allows you to specifically pitch, pick which sort of base model you want to start out with. Um, say we want this sort of African. We want a uh, young male okay let's load it and you see there he is wait for it to load now let's move him around and you can see there's the basic structure for that part of uh, the African body now you can go all the way there's many different uh, options here wait for it to load you see a different African base body it's pretty neat pretty unique um, what he's going for with this program here but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, just go over I happen to be Caucasian myself so I'm actually just going to uh, load the base male and work with him myself okay now let's go ahead and start going over what we can do here with the age let's uh, make him really really old you see let's jump to the face cam and you can see that actually really did change his features quite a bit um, to act towards the age Let's jump down towards a uh, child and you see that is definitely a child figure there. You can train you can change the tone. Having to be a little bit younger. And that's about right for me. I'm gonna make something that looks fairly similar to myself here. You can change the tone, make him extremely toned. I happen to be a little bit toned myself, I'm fa fairly thin, so you can uh, change the weight however you like <clears throat> you can even change the height I'm about average and now we get into details now this is the first thing everybody is going to note off right here at the top is genitalia I'm actually not going to show off that feature for the sake of um, YouTube however <clears throat> yes, they are completely realistic genitalia. If you were to go to the right, you would get male genitalia. You go to the left, you get female genitalia. Now, 
if you're working with a female model you can also change the breasts as well now it doesn't do anything on the male model so I'm not going to edit that either however I do want to change a little bit here on the pelvic tone I have a little bit more defined pelvis um, I have a fairly f I'm fairly thin so I actually want to uh, pull my stomach in just a little bit you can pop him out give yourself a nice pop belly um, I'm going to pull mine in just a little bit and then also change the shape of your buttocks I'm gonna pull mine in just a little bit I don't have too big of a bubble butt <laughs> okay so that's about right for the basic shape for my model there now it looks like I'm already at 11 minutes so I'm probably going to go ahead and have to do two tutorial videos just to show off um, everything that this program can do um, so let me jump under micro here now this is where these little green things come up you can actually specifically change uh, the position structure of what not <clears throat> of every little body part here yourself if you wanted to I'm not going to do that here I'm going to go ahead and just show off all of the preset functions however this is how you would physically manually change anything you want in the body okay so we jump under asymmetry right here this is another thing I'm not actually going to do because I want my character to be pretty asymmetrical but you can literally offset all of these um, you know we look closely there let me go ahead and actually jump at it and show off you see we uh, can throw off the eyebrows um, and all of these are specifically named the asymmetries of the entire body isn't that cool okay so another thing we see over here you can literally uh, change the asymmetry of his actual mid body send that about uh, close enough my mouse is being a little bit too specific on me here close enough <coughs> and then uh, same thing with the breasts okay so now real quick before because I'm I'm uh, about out of time for this video I want to show off uh, one of the things that uh, in these tabs that doesn't really work right now um, in this version of the program uh, there are no set backgrounds you can actually in the newer one you can import your own in the nightly version you can import your own backgrounds here but uh, right now we don't see any of that <coughs> and it actually has its own this program actually has its own rendering function you can go ahead and render the image and see what it would look like but in this program it doesn't really do very much um, this version of the program again those are glancing at some things that are just uh, features that aren't quite complete yet again this is an alpha version this is an alpha program period so expect bugs expect a lot of things not to quite work but there is nothing in the world better to make a realistic um, human model than this so I'll come back and we will go back into uh, all of these incredible face functions measures and all of that I will see you all soon <laughs>